Well, as you wake up this morning and head out the door, you're going to notice some cloudy skies to start off. So as we go ahead and take a look at the Lake Club, a weather camera where they are mowing the green right now, you can see those clouds out there are pretty good, not letting the sunshine really come through much at all. But thankfully, that is going to change a little bit later on today. Now, right now, temperatures are just there in the low to mid 40s. So this is here just before the nine o'clock hour. So it is starting off cool. Grab a jacket as you're heading out the door. But as I mentioned, things will change some by the end of the day. The back edge of the clouds here starting to push into the valley a little bit and we'll see some afternoon clearing and the future tracker shows this here pretty good, especially as we head towards about 1030 or 11 o'clock. Some of the sunshine are breaking out over the valley. That's going to help temperatures warm into the mid 50s, maybe even upper 50s in a few spots uh, by this afternoon. It will be good to see the sunshine and then once the sun starts to set, we'll start to see these temperatures cool off a little bit and get some low in the mid 40s and an overnight tonight about 10 o'clock here into the upper 30s and low 40s out there. So it will cool off some tonight, but as far as your planning ahead graphic today, 56 degrees, partly cloudy skies, no chance of precipitation. Those winds will uh, maybe gust out of the southwest over 20 miles per hour. So that's helping it warm up some, but it's also uh, could make it feel a little bit cool out there uh, by the afternoon. Now, this uh, sort of model here is showing the future winds at about 5,000 feet off the ground. This is going to be a pretty big player in our weather over the weekend. Now, as far as this morning goes, we're seeing those winds kind of out of the west-southwest. We don't get any flow off of Lake Erie. That's going to continue throughout the day, but overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning, these winds will start to change here, and they'll start to come out of the northwest. And any time we get a cool northwesterly wind over those lake waters, especially during the month of November, that often and leads to some lake effect clouds and the chance of lake effect precipitation. This has kind of just popped up over the last 24 hours or so, and it's something I've been talking a little bit about today. So that's going to lead to more clouds around tomorrow, and it will also lead to the chances of some lake effect showers. So temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 40s for the most part. You see by around 10 o'clock tomorrow, some of those showers coming into our area, and then even more so around 2 to 3 o'clock, maybe even reaching down as far south as Youngstown. Now, not every single location is going to see rain. It's not going to rain the entire time, but uh, these clouds will sort of have that impact on our temperatures, keeping them uh, cool for tomorrow. And maybe even the chance of a couple of snow flurries mixing in in the extreme northern Trumbull, Mercer County tomorrow with some of those temperatures. So this is going to have an impact on the Youngstown State game tomorrow. Noon kickoff against, uh, against South Dakota State there. Kickoff at uh, 43 degrees, and it really won't warm, much, uh, warm up much from there. Uh, we'll see also the chances of some showers throughout the game. Now, once we get through, Saturday, mostly sunny on Sunday, 47, warming into the low to mid 50s on Monday and Tuesday. Looks like a lot of sunshine next week. And as we head towards the middle to next uh, middle to uh, middle to end part of next week, we are going to see those temperatures warm up to close to 60 degrees. So that'll feel pretty good as we head into the work week.